and it looks like Highway 50 is going to be shut down throughout the night. You can see why over my shoulder, fire trucks line Highway 50. Those firefighters are not in the fire trucks. They're out on the fire line. Also, one of the other thing we ran in today, trees falling. It is dangerous, and one thing that firefighters are very careful about up here. Helicopters, planes, difficult to get to by air and difficult to get to on the ground. These four service firefighters called hot shots climb down, cross rivers, and cut line, removing brush, all to try and slow this. The wind was a big factor in influencing the fire early on. The fire was jumping around on both sides of the river and putting cabins at risk. Meanwhile, firefighters rushed to try and stop the fire from getting out of the canyon. But the train is so steep and challenging, they face another problem, fatigue. You know, a lot of these guys have been working for six hours and they very well may be working for 12 more. Um, you know, so there's kind of a risk deepening process that happens. Making matters worse? The drought-stricken landscape that weakens trees. Add to that previous fires that have stressed them even further. Standing next to logs like this when you can see the intense heat. They're dead logs and they get hollowed out by the fire. You can see the flames basically shooting out of the end of this log like a barrel. And this is video from a viewer who saw what may have started the fire. An old Studebaker truck that lost a wheel. Investigators are looking into this as the cause. As the day end, firefighters brace for a difficult and dangerous night on the fire line. One of the interesting things about this uh, fire is that the good news in all of this is that the fire did not get up into the trees. Most of the day it stayed underneath the trees, and that's good news because once it gets in the top of the trees, it just races up the hills. They're really trying to contain it to this canyon. It looks like they have stopped or are making great progress stopping the forward progress of this fire. The other good news about this, no injuries and no structures lost at this point. Live along Highway 50, I'm Richard Sharp, KCRA 3 News. Certainly good news. Thank you, Richard. Well, firefighters 